How to add a receptacle from a single pole switch. To add a receptacle, there must be a neutral wire in the switch junction box. Not all switch junction boxes contain a neutral wire. Turn of the power. Remove the switch wall plate and remove the switch from the junction box to check if there is a neutral wire in the switch junction box. In this junction box, a red and black wire are connected to the switch. The white wire is hidden inside the junction box. And only one cable enters the box. This means that it is the switch leg from the light outlet that contains the neutral wire. Make sure the light outlet junction box will accommodate the new cable. This junction box contains 14 gauge wire. According to the junction box calculations in the NEC, National Electrical Code, this junction box will accommodate another 14, 2 nm, non-metallic sheathed cable. Install a 2 wire cable of the same gauge from the receptacle junction box location as the wires in the switch junction box, insert it into the switch junction box, and secure it to a stud no more than 12 inches from the point where the cable enters the junction box. Cable must be long enough to splice properly and must be secured to the structure within 12 inches of the junction box entry point. Insert the cable installed from the switch into the receptacle junction box and secure it to the stud. Cable from the switch is secured to the stud and long enough to be properly spliced. Remove the cable sheath. Trim the wires to no shorter than 6 inches and strip the ends of the wires about 1 half inch. The cable sheath shall extend into the junction box not less than 1 quarter inch. The length of free wire from the removed cable sheath must be at least 6 inches. At least 3 inches of wire must extend from the front of the junction box. Wire ends stripped of insulation. Make a loop at the end of each wire. A loop is made at the end of each wire. 14 2 nm cable wires white neutral wire bare ground wire 
Black, hot wire. Duplex receptacle connection terminals. Ground terminal, green screw. Hot terminal, gold screws. Neutral terminal, silver screws. Connect the ground, bare, wire from the junction box to the ground terminal, green screw of the receptacle. Ground wire connected. Connect the neutral, white wire from the junction box to the neutral terminal, silver screw of the receptacle. Neutral wire connected. Connect the hot, black wire from the junction box to the hot terminal, gold screw of the receptacle. Hot wire connected. Secure the receptacle to the junction box and install the receptacle wall plate. Receptacle installation complete. Switch junction box cables and wires. Cable from the light outlet containing. Ground wire, bare. Neutral wire, white. Hot wire from the power source, black. Hot wire returning to the light outlet, red. Cable to the receptacle junction box. Make sure, test it, that the hot, black wire is from the power source. Remove the cable sheath from the cable to the receptacle. Disconnect the ground, bare, and the hot, black wire from the switch. Straighten the ends of the disconnected wires. Using a wire nut, connect the ground wires together and insert the connected wires into the junction box, leaving the pigtail wire outside the box. Ground wires spliced by a green wire nut and the connection inserted into the junction box with pigtail left outside the box. Remove the wire nut from the neutral wire at the junction box, trim the neutral, white wire from the new cable, strip approximately one half inch of insulation from the ends of the neutral wires, Connect them with pliers, and secure the connection with a wire nut.
The ends of the neutral wires are stripped for connection. And the connection is secured with a wire nut. Three to five twists are sufficient as too many twists may damage the wire insulation. Insert the connected wires into the junction box. Inserted wires. Trim the wire, black, coming from the installed cable, take a piece of black wire of the same thickness for the pigtail, and splice these wires together. To ensure a better connection, splice the wires using pliers. Insert spliced wires into the junction box. Spliced wires inside the junction box. Group the ground and hot pigtail wires, trim them to no shorter than 6 inches. Strip the end of the hot wire about one half inch and make a loop at the end of each wire. Wires ready to be connected to the switch. Connect the ground, bare, wire back to the ground terminal, green screw, of the switch. Ground wire connected. Connect the hot, black, wire to the hot terminal, gold screw, of the switch from which the hot, black, wire was previously disconnected. Hot wire connected. Insert the wires into the junction box. Make sure the ground wire does not touch any of the hot terminals of the switch. Secure the switch to the junction box, level it and install the switch wall plate. Restore power and test the receptacle for proper operation. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.